Welcome to Strolling Down Memory Lane. Well, without further ado, though, my wife's got some good encouraging words, so here she is, my sweet wife, Willie Pollard. Well, folks, we do trust that you are enjoying the program today. Uh, I enjoyed having uh, my mom sing with my husband, and uh, like we said, we pulled that up out of the archives, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I want to talk to you today about something that uh, we here in the Pacific Northwest are very familiar with, and that is clouds. Uh, we are known to get a lot of rain uh, here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I want to ask you if you have ever thought about this. Um, what do you think of when you think about clouds? Have you ever thought about the fact that clouds bring us blessings? For example, the clouds shield us from the burning sun. And then we can remember that the clouds create the lavish sunsets that we have. How about this? They also give us rain so that we can have good crops and beautiful landscaping. But I want to talk to you today about another type of cloud. And that's the clouds of life, the hard times that come in our lives. When these times come, we can often become very discouraged if we're not careful. But we need to remember that behind the clouds, the hard times in our lives, that God is still present. He is there waiting to help us if we will just trust in Him. We need to realize that He can use those clouds to water our soul with unexpected blessings. And I want to share with you from Exodus chapter 16 and verse 10. In this passage, um, Aaron spoke to the children of Israel, and as they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. Each one of us will experience clouds in our lives. Some may be small, what we feel might be insignificant. Others may be very large. Others may be just really dark and gloomy clouds. But through all of this, we need to remember to look behind those clouds and to ask Jesus to help us realize the blessing that he has for us. And during those times of hard times, cloudy times in our lives, we also need to read our Bible. We need to pray. We need to trust Jesus and just draw closer to him. And we need to remember to expect a blessing instead of coming be discouraged because we need to remember that God loves us. Thank you. Sweetheart, once again, what can I say but you did another good job. Well, thank you. And uh, when those dark stormy clouds come, just trust in the Lord Jesus Christ.